is a lola day so yeah all right this morning we're starting with the banking sector sterling bank plc has appointed mr emmanuel emifianin as its executive director institutional banking his appointment has been approved by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, with immediate effect. In Mifianim has over 25 years' experience in the Nigerian banking industry, having worked in various middle and senior management roles across operations, treasury, and sales. He commenced his banking career with the Shining Bank PLC, now EcoBank Nigeria, where he rose to the position of head credit and marketing before joining United Bank for Africa PLC as manager of commercial banking. Emifianim also worked in the defunct Savannah Bank PLC and FSB International Bank PLC, now Fidelity Bank PLC, over a period of six years before joining Equatorial Trust Bank in 2006. Emifianim has attended executive courses at the Harvard Business School and is also an alumnus of the prestigious Watson School. Still very much for the banking sector, Fidelity Bank PLC has rewarded customers in its new promo tagged Get A Lot in Minions promo reloaded. 12 customers won 19 million Naira in the draw of the banks held in Lagos to boost the savings culture and promote the financial inclusion. The winners emerged from a transparent randomization process which was vented by the bank's control team and witnessed by officials from Consumer Protection Council and other regulators and stakeholders. According to the bank, the promo dubbed Get A Lot In Minions Promo Reloaded was to encourage savings culture and promote the Central Bank of Nigeria's financial inclusion policy. The cash prize winners for the second bi-monthly draw were Adebi Olaide of the bank's Iwo branch Ibado and Obot Cecilia Ugo of Federal Secretary at Abuja who won the stock prize of 3 million naira each. Other cash winners in the monthly draw included Chikosu Inwosu Abuja, Ifeso Workbook Social Club Southwest, Ikalume Steven and Yala Rex South South, also Michael Igwe and Ability Chingwe Southeast, all won 1 million naira respectively. Also, Musa Abubakar won 1 million naira, Emmanuel Olumide 2 million naira, Meryl Obiagali 1 million naira, and Aziz Adedroni matched the winner of 2 million naira in the promo. Speaking at the promo draw, the bank's managing director, chief executive officer, Nnamdi Okonkwa, said the campaign was the seventh in the series of promos organized by the bank to re reward customers for their inflinching loyalty and patronage. Google is to deploy a staff of 10,000 to hunt down extremist content on its YouTube platform following recent criticism. The video sharing site's chief executive, Suzanne Wookie, told the Britain's Daily Telegraph that bad actors had used the website to mislead, manipulate, harass, or even harm. British High Commissioner Theresa May has put pressure on internet giants to root out online radical material following a spate of terror attacks while YouTube last week pulled 150,000 videos of children after new comments about them were posted by the US. Also, Susan claimed that her company had developed computer learning technology to identify extremist videos and that it could also be used to identify content that risks children's safety. Google, according to her, will continue the growth of the teams with the goal of bringing a total number of people across its working to address contents that might violate their policies to over 10,000 in 2018. A last week's move was to take down suspect content that came after a British newspaper reported that adverts for big names brands were displayed alongside videos of children or teens which, while innocent on their own, drew viewer comments that seemed pedophilic in nature. Media reports indicate the situation made advertisers kittish with some halting YouTube advertising. 
A technical team of the Nigerian Communications Commission has raided Ikui, a Lagos metropolis, to detect firms whose installations have been degrading nine mobile services. Companies visited during the raid include Microfinance Bank, GMT Energy Resources, Club 57, and a property on number 61 at Demola Street, Ikui. Head of NCC Enforcement Unit, Mr. Salisu Abdu, explains that the companies were identified as firms with equipment that were degrading nine mobile services. Of the four locations discovered, only the first three were tracked as the team could not access the premises of the fourth on number 61 at Demola Street in Ikui. The enforcement chief says after a thorough search, the team was able to localize the culprits causing the network interference to the four locations and impounded GSM boosting equipment illegally installed in the premises. Pay TV provider Star Times Nigeria says it has recorded a rise in the number of new and existing subscribers for its daily or weekly subscription package tag Pay Per Day. Star Times in 2017 announced its take off of daily and weekly subscription, enabling subscribers to watch as many as 30 channels for 16 naira daily and over 40 TV channels for just 300 naira weekly on Nova Bouquet. For basic bouquet subscribers, daily subscription was at 90 naira daily and 450 naira weekly, while classic bouquet subscribers would pay 180 naira daily, 900 naira weekly, and unique bouquet. Also went for 240 naira daily and 1,800 naira weekly on DTT platform. On the other hand, subscribers on the DTH Nova Bouquet is 16 naira per day, 300 naira per week, and 900 naira per month. Also, 120 naira, 600 naira, and 1,900 naira for the subscribers on Smart Bouquet. However, the Super Bouquet subscribers will enjoy low rate of 240 naira to 1,200 naira and 3,800 naira. The company in a statement issued explains that a package has eased the financial burden associated with monthly subscription in the country and gradually fulfilling its promise to deliver affordable quality entertainment to every African home. Its brand and marketing director, Kosim Iligwini, says the subscriber base continued to soar fast and statistics have revealed that most of the new subscribers come in asking to be placed on the per day pay plan. And Star Times owns a featured content platform with 440 authorized channels consisting of news, movies, series, sport, entertainment, children's program, fashion, and religions, and also broadcast to over 10 million homes across Africa. And that is it on brands and industry segment on the Daybreak Show. Stay tuned for the open day uh, segment of the Daybreak Show coming up at a quarter past nine. I am Olola de Sonia Olu.